Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. You're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end of this video because I have a brand new exciting announcement for something we are launching next week. Uh, I honestly, I'm probably more excited about this than anything I'm talking about today, but we do have some real news today, four really interesting stories and maybe Nintendo being a, a little bit tone deaf, but you know what, what else is new from Nintendo at times? It is what it is. Editor? Roll it! Thank you, Steve. Thank you. So, let's just get into, first, maybe the worst news, although the least surprising news, and that is that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 has fully leaked online. So, this isn't really shocking. And originally, it was physical copies that released to Days ago, uh, some retailers broke street day and people were selling them online, 25, lots of 25 copies. You can still find them on, you know, eBay sort of removed some of the listings, but you can still find them on places like OfferUp and other applications. So, yeah, they leaked online. Uh, they're online today. The whole game's online somewhere. I'm not going to tell you where to find it. I'm not going to tell you even where to look, but it's there. So just be wary. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 story spoilers are going to be everywhere especially by Monday. You know, it's going to take a little time for people to get through the story, but by Monday, Tuesday, next week, fully expect all of those story details to be out in the public. So it might now be time to maybe silence Xenoblade Chronicle 3 on relevant platforms like Twitter and, and TikTok and all the rest. Now, that being said, we need to dive a little bit deeper because we have a brand new rumor, uh, sort of a report, but it's a rumor coming from Jeff Grubb about Immortal Phoenix Rising and Immortal Phoenix Rising's sequel now ubisoft announced that we're going to be making a sequel a little while ago but that was about it we, we didn't really know anything else don't want it's coming uh and jeff grubb went ahead and had this to say yesterday so uh enough of this stuff has been confirmed now mike that i'm gonna read this okay. ubisoft quebec sequel to immortals phoenix rising is not a proper sequel it's more of a spin-off in the same way um, the production name of the game is called oxygen you're a hero a guy or a girl because ubisoft it's based on the Hawaiian Polynesian culture this time around. So, Mike, that should be pretty good for you. Actually, it kind of sounds, uh, sounds pretty good. Still have a god narrator. They tried to be still be visually stylized, but less of a copy of Breath of the Wild. Uh, they talk about a visual reboot. It's it in early like Moana, isn't it? Yes, it's in early pre-production. Seen some concept art. Uh, it's coming maybe 2025. So, yeah, it's still what are you reading cool. from? Uh, from a source. Oh my God! Uh, let's see. Uh, the, look, Jeff breaking things here, everybody. Yeah, because I know, like, I, I got this stuff before, and I tried to confirm a lot of this stuff, and it was tough. But uh, to, like today, I'm like really kind because yeah. he's like um, saying that he talked about like that front line being delayed and stuff like that. Now, you're sure this isn't one of the four games that was uh, canceled? Apparently, I, you know, maybe, but I, I don't think so. Uh, I think when it's that far off, probably not. Uh, but I can check into it. Now, I am a little bit disappointed that they're trying to rework it to be less like Breath of the Wild because one of my favorite things about Immortals Phoenix Rising was the similarities to Breath of the Wild. That being said, you know what? They did such an amazing job with the first game that going with a new spinoff, a new direction, sort of a reboot is not something I am against. And you know what? Ubisoft tends to make games I really enjoy, and the studio behind this tends to be one of those studios I really enjoy their games. So... I'm going to give benefit of the doubt because I did really enjoy the first one that just because this one's going to be different in some, you know, maybe many ways doesn't mean that I'm going to like it any less. So, hey, and also based on some of the themes that we heard here, Moana style, like the Disney movie, I, I have no idea. So there you go. It is just a rumor. So we'll see. Uh, 2025 is a long ways away. I would presume we would have a new Switch platform by then as well. So. I guess there's that. Next up, Nintendo finally updated us on DLC for a hotly anticipated game that is in the minds of everybody out there. This game, we've been talking about this game all year long. We've been really, really waiting for this DLC update, and Nintendo finally gave it to us. Thank you so much, Nintendo. What am I talking about? Oh, Nintendo Switch Sports. On July 26th, they are dropping a free update to Nintendo Switch Sports that does a couple of things. Well, three things in particular. Number one, it finally lets us use the leg straps in 4v4 multiplayer soccer matches. Okay, I mean, that is something they talked about before launch. It was only really available in one 
possible way. People want a physical version, get that leg strap, or if you already had Ring Fit Adventure like I do, you have the leg strap. Okay, fine. Cool. Uh, they also, this is a weird one, they added new moves to volleyball, including the slide kick and rocket serve. I mean, that's fine, I suppose. Uh, there are differences in serving in volleyball. Some people can legitimately rocket a ball over there. I, I'm usually one of those people. I jump up pretty high and get that little rocket serve in in real life. But hey, this is a video game. So maybe this will make volleyball a bit more interesting. And then they went ahead and decided, you know what? People are already at the top rank in the pro online mode, the ranked mode online. So you know what? Let's go ahead and add two more tiers. So now the next tier up is S tier, which in many games, that's literally the highest you can go. But Nintendo said, no, 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 no. We're actually going to have a tier above S tier and go with infinity rank. So that's a thing. And maybe this is because they think people are stopped playing Switch Sports because they're already at the top rank and it was too easy to get there. I have no idea, but there you go. That is clearly the game we were waiting for a free DLC update on. And by the way, I'm not actually upset that we're getting this DLC update. They did tell us we were going to be getting this kind of stuff, and it's not the golf update that we're waiting for. Like They're supposed to be adding golf to the game, but you know, we, certain Mario Kart game out there that we just keep waiting for that DLC drop, and Nintendo just doesn't do a very good job at reading the room but then again, maybe that DLC, it might not matter what room they have to read if the DLC isn't ready to be announced. It's not ready to be announced. We can't really force Nintendo to announce something that might still be a month or two away, depending on how development is going. Uh, next up, Nintendo added three new games to Nintendo Switch Online. They just dropped them randomly last night. This is sort of what Nintendo does, especially for things that aren't the N64. They usually give us a bit of a run-up to an N64 game. But for anything for the Super Nintendo and Nintendo Entertainment System, it's always just Shadow Drop, Shadow Drop, Shadow Drop. At least now. It used to be pre-announced years ago, but now they're just Shadow Dropped in. Well, they added some really weird ones. Uh, first up was Kirby's Avalanche, which I sort of understand Kirby's Avalanche because it it's just another one of those obscure Kirby games out there. They've been, you know, w w with the Dream Buffet and Kirby in the Forgotten Land, sort of like the year of Kirby right now. And then Fighter's History. This is another Super Nintendo game that is basically like any other fighting game uh, that we got back in those days. Nothing I find super unique about it, but at least it looks like a good game. And then they dropped Davia Story 6 Imperial of Nersarsha on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And this one's weird as well. Not only because it released back in 1986, but it's the sixth game in an ongoing IP at that time that I don't know that any of us have ever heard of. What a weird... Game, it's a side-scrolling, automated, running shooter thing. You know, those games were like a dime a dozen back then. Sure. They're, they're, it, it just feels weird that these are the additions we're getting because, look, I know that Nintendo doesn't always work well with third parties on licensing agreements, but we have so many first-party games that haven't yet released from the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Super Nintendo, like Nintendo, the games that Nintendo controls and could release. And for some reason, they're not. I don't know. I mean, we can always get into the RPG that existed for Mario back in the day on the Super Nintendo. That's still not out for some reason. I, Nintendo makes interesting choices all the time, and they continue to keep making interesting choices. Maybe someday we'll get some of these bigger Nintendo games, or not. I don't know. Now, if you stuck around to the end, this story is less of a video game story in general, more of a channel update. And I didn't want to do a separate video on this because I'm just going to kind of get into this starting next week. But we are launching a new show at the channel. Now, for the longest time, I have been wanting to uh, do a sort of news and discussion oriented show that was based around uh, radio. So I really enjoy talk radio. It, it, it's a big thing I've always enjoyed. And I have you know sort of have a, a similar sort of thing happening with the Nintendo Prime podcast, right? Like that's a, we, we get some friends together. We talk about the, the latest news and, and games and topics and it becomes a really good discussion. And we're still going to have the Nintendo Prime podcast every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. But starting on Monday and going Monday through Friday. Now, this is going to be a three-hour live show called Prime Gaming Show. And it is very much in the style of a lot of radio shows I have seen. Now, look-wise, it's mostly going to be done right here. 
the, the what you're seeing here, this set right here is, is, is what we're going to be doing it on. But it's going to be done in a very, very different way than, say, my traditional night live streams or anything else. And that is because I am really hyper-focused on having preset topics. So one thing we're going to be doing Monday through Friday is we're going to be going over the tweets that Nintendo drops while we are actually live. So they always have the tweets happening around 9 a.m. Eastern time. That's going to be actually one of the first things we kick off on the show is going over whatever they announced. And if it happened to be a Nintendo Direct, imagine that we're already talking about that Nintendo Direct from the second it gets announced or the latest financials from Nintendo or whatever other news might have happened overnight or the day before maybe some interesting topics came up now i want to know that this show isn't just going to be about nintendo even though we're clearly going to have some nintendo segments such as that nintendo twitter segment we are going to go over other things as well other big news happening in the gaming industry there's stuff out there right now about assassin's creed uh stuff out there about playstation and xbox and pc and steam deck we're going to be having some of these preset topics every day while also throwing in any news that drops during the show now, this show is going to be happening uh, on a pretty frequent schedule with some rant segments included in there as well, responses to different things happening on uh, in, in the social media world around video games. Also, we are going to be taking call-ins for this show as well. So you will be able to actually call into the Prime Gaming Show during certain segments on certain topics to give your thoughts, your opinions, get my reaction uh, to those thoughts and opinions uh, pretty quickly, and and I feel like this is going to be a really great community engagement. This is sort of like if when you call into a radio show or call into a sports talk show, uh, it's your chance to get your thoughts out there. Uh, so a lot of the work on the show is going to be actually done the night before, where the topics are gathered, and I work on the graphics and the visuals I want to use for it. I want and present the trailers to you guys and do all this. So it's going to be a lot of work at nights. So because of this, we won't actually be doing our nightly streams anymore. I do apologize uh, for not doing those nightly streams anymore, but this also streamlines my workflow around here. Now, we're still gonna be having videos during the day. We're no longer obviously shooting to get a video out in the AM because we are gonna be doing this live show in the AM. Instead, we'll have another video coming out later in the day that's gonna you know, cover other rumors or cover other uh, you know news that's dropping, topics, hot topics at the time, anything that happens basically in the second half of the day, we'll put it into that video and we'll probably have that video coming out by five or 6 p.m. or so. So yeah, that video is going to be much later in the day and then my nights will be freed up, one, to play more video games because I want to find some time to play more video games and then two, obviously preparing for this show the following morning. So I'm really excited about this schedule change. Again, we're still going to be doing our, our night stream for the podcast on Wednesday. So Wednesday, you're actually getting a double dose. You're going to get the Prime Gaming Show and you're going to be getting the Nintendo Prime podcast. Uh, the Nintendo Prime podcast you know, is different in that we bring in other YouTubers and other guests like that. The morning show is going to be more about myself and the community. We're not really going to be dragging in a bunch of outside uh, people into that show, at least at first. Maybe down the line, if the show grows and gets more popular, we'll do that. Now, this show is completely supported through you guys. This show is not something that's going to really make a lot of ad revenue or any of that. So all the super chats and your YouTube memberships and even our Patreon now really goes to support this show and goes to support the Nintendo Prime podcast. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, and also during this segment, pretty much anything that gets super chatted, if you want to bring up a topic or bring up something instantly, uh, anything that gets super chatted will, you know, be drug in at the conclusion of whatever I am currently talking about. So if I'm on a little bit of a rant about, I don't know, work conditions at EA or something like that, if I'm on a little bit of a rant there, as soon as I'm done with that rant, the super chats will go in order of what, you know, what we'll be getting to. So you guys will be able to directly influence the direction of the show uh, through your super chats. Now we won't be having shots or day drinking or any of that. This is going to be strictly focused on trying to cover the news, trying to give lots of opinions, trying to get your opinions drug in as well. The topics that you guys care about most and really creating a nice old entertaining show around this. And I am covering all of gaming in this show, all of it. That's why we're not calling it the Nintendo prime gaming show or anything Nintendo related. It's prime gaming show P G. So have its own logo, its own graphics, and I'm really, really looking forward to launching this show for all of you guys. And I really hope that you are also looking forward to this show as well. Consider it a solo podcast if you want, but it's not really that. It's more talk radio. So 
I really hope that you guys uh, enjoy it, and I can't wait to launch it next week, Monday. I'm doing a lot of work between now and then to get our very first show ready to go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Got this cool little Zelda shirt on, and I'll catch you in the next video.